Captain Michael Dawson here with Patriot Guide Service here at Tarpon Fishing Outfitters today to talk about the right landing gear. Common question is, I want to go fishing, I want to land the fish, what should I use? I know if you come to the tackle store you'll see they have a huge selection of landing nets, gaffs, different landing devices. Well, which one do you use? Well, the answer is, honestly, you probably should have one of each because every one of them has a specific purpose and what you need. First thing we'll talk about is going to be gaffs. Gaffs are obviously for when you are want to keep that fish, there is no releasing that fish in mine. These will be easily be able to stick the fish and pull them into the boat. Now if you look at them, there's all different sorts of gaffs. If you look, these two are very different in length. One's a lot shorter, one's a lot longer. One has a small hook on it, one has a big hook on it. One's made of carbon fiber, one's made of aluminum. Which one should you get? Well, both these gaffs have a specific purpose. The length of a gaff has a lot to play in the boat. If you have tall gunnels on your boat, you'll probably need something a little longer to reach that fish. But if you have shorter gunnels and you're fishing for kingfish, something that's going to be running away from the boat, then again, that longer gaff's probably going to play in the keep. A grouper right next to the boat, short gaff's fine because he's coming straight up, he's right next to the boat, you don't need to make that far reach to gaff that fish. Now if you look at hook size, a small hook on this one and a larger hook on this one, what should you use? Well, if you're gaffing smaller kingfish or even kingfish, and you have this big gaff, there's a chance you're going to miss that fish, and he's going to go right in between that gaff point when you try to gaff him. So a small hook's great on that. Well, the big gaff hook on this is great for grouper. So it really all depends on what you're fishing for. If you are fishing for a kingfish guy, I'll take a small, lightweight gaff like this guy. If you're fishing for bottom fishing like grouper, I would use something bigger like this. Now we're going to talk about releasing fish or inshore. Well, what do you use then? The answer to that is going to be a landing net. All sorts of different varieties. One thing I would, that both these nets can have in common that I would highly recommend is this rubber coated mesh material. This will keep the fish alive, take, not take the slime coat off the fish, and it will be great for landing the fish. This one here you can see is a real short handle as a foam on so it floats. This is great for a guy who doesn't have a lot of storage on the boat and has small gunnels on the boat, doesn't have to reach very far, and can just reach over and grab the fish. A lot of guys love this net because they can keep it out of the way. The net I personally like is one of these Lee Fisher nets. These nets are a very large net. I can reach out, grab a fish from a long way. They are deep, so I can land a fish and that fish isn't going to fall out of that net. And the best part about it is, this net folds down to the same size as that little folding net. So I can still take up no storage on the boat. This isn't out in my way the entire time. And it's a great little landing net. And if you've ever fished with me, you know a lot of times I don't use a gaff or net. I use this material right here. This is called a boga grip. You pull this black lever down, the jaws on this tool open up, and this can go in the fish's mouth. This does not break loose. I've landed 160 pound tarpon on this, 20 pound snog, two pound redfish, you name it, this little tool can land that fish. It rotates to keep you from breaking your wrist when that fish tries to roll. It has a nice little scale on it so you can see how heavy the fish is. They're not cheap, they are pretty pricey, but this is one of the best tools you can have out there. I've had one on my boat for six years now, and there is not a speck of rust on that tool, and I have never even rinsed it off. And if you know me, I'm destructive on gear. I can't destroy this guy. And if you want something inexpensive but still does the job, these fish grips are great. Works like a pair of vice grips, same thing in the fish's mouth. Keeps you from taking the slime coat off that fish. Only problem I have with them is the jaw sometimes on smaller fish, it's harder to get in a fish's mouth, but still a great little tool. Now finally for your pier based fishermen, we have what's called a landing net or a drop hoop net. These you can drop off a big pier, Skyway, Fort DeSoto pier, drop it down the water and bring the fish into it and lower it up. That way if you're fishing on a high structure, it is very easy to land that fish. Like I said, we have plenty of different landing materials, net materials, each one has a specific purpose. If you have any questions, come in, talk to our guys and they'll steer you in the right direction. Tarpon Fishing Outfitters, Captain Michael, signing off.